What's up guys, Triple C here. Today we're doing a top speed test on the new Fister 811, the new supercar we got yesterday. Uh, now yesterday I did a stunt test on the car. It's not recommended by any means. It doesn't perform well on, on, on all the stunts. So definitely do not choose this car for stunt races. Um, in this test we're just testing the top speed on a straight line. We're going point to point uh, just from the start to the finish and we're uh, the comparing times to the other quick supercars in the game. And yes guys, we do have a new quickest supercar in the game. The Fister 811 is actually now the fastest supercar in the entire game. It beat the Banshee, it also beat the X80 Proto. Uh, so undisputably the quickest car. Now in a setup like I'm using it here, you will have standard deviations. Um, there's a difference in initial acceleration and traction when you start. Um, guys like Brophy, for example, they test this um, much more accurately than me. Uh, a lot of work goes into the testing. It's really fidgety and come up with some real empirical evidence. Brophy has exactly the same results as I do. This is a very clear indication here. And if you check out Brophy's video, I'll link that down there in the description he actually calculates the exact top speed also he, he's coming to the exact same conclusion so we're coming up to the finish here and we're going to check out the time now on the 811 we got a time of 1 minute 6.065 um, the second quickest supercar was the banshee up to yesterday it was still the fastest supercar and that one we got a 1.7.2 and the third quickest supercar is the X80 Proto. And that one we had a time of one, wait, here comes 1.7.599. So the 811, the Fister, absolutely annihilated both of those cars in terms of top speed. And now there were a lot of comments on my previous um, test regarding the top speed of the X80 Proto because um, there were YouTubers around saying it's the fastest car in humane history, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, to tell you the truth, guys, these guys just drive it around the airport a bit. If you p take people like Brophy, for example, they do some real, um, basically scientific testing on this kind of stuff uh, and, and produce empirical evidence, which means you can reproduce those results and it's a very very clear um a very very clear result the um 811 is the quickest supercar in terms of top speed second is the banshee and third is the x80 proto now um the thing is you don't want to um, choose your car just regarding the top speed except if you're doing a drag race or uh, an around the map race because top speed, I said that in my previous video also, it doesn't mean a lot, the top speed. Uh, top speed will get you somewhere when you're on a straight line, but in any race, like in 99.9% .9 of the races, uh, there are different factors which go into that, like the cornering of the car, how it handles in corners, how it handles in hairpins, what traction it has, if it understeers, if it oversteers, how rough you can take it over bumps, for example. Very important, you know, you can always cut your racing lines over the curbs, you can get curb boosts. So um, even though also the Banshee up to now was always the quickest car in the game, it would get its, its ass handed on every track basically by cars like the Osiris for example or the T20 because they're just in a much better all around package, especially on stunt races also. You want to have a car which does good on the track and the top speed doesn't say a lot. There is There are very very few instances where you actually reach top speed. It's mostly just on these around the map races. And then again in those, the host is mostly gonna have a catch up on. So in that instance, it doesn't matter what car you're in, you can be in a stock bullet and you'll still catch up to first place because with catch up on, the top speed of the first place is reduced. It has this rubber band effect that it keeps the cars together. So yeah, um, a lot of people find this interesting, um, so do with that information what you want. It's actually the fastest supercar in the game now. Uh, I tested it on stunts yesterday, it's definitely not recommended on stunt races. And what I saw up to now in terms of racing, um, there are other cars which do much, much better on it. So yeah, um, fastest car but not a good all-rounder altogether, basically not recommended. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll check you guys in the next video.